Welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. We're going to take a minute here real quick and show you how to clean an arrow off after you've killed an animal. As you can see on this one, this is one I just killed that last year here in Michigan with. Uh, I did already start to wipe the shaft off and then I realized, hey, I could probably do a video and show you this. But those feathers are all hard and covered in blood and all kinds of stuff in there. A lot of people throw these arrows out. There's no reason to. Uh, very easy to clean them. Just simple, simple stuff to do. Just a little warm water. Uh, get that shaft to quick, quick wet down like that just to get some of that loose stuff off and it's just a little bit of uh, Dawn dish soap. Dawn is a degreasing dish soap. Uh, Dawn dish soap is, is key because it does have degreasers in it. Put it right on there, put it right on a, on a scrubby, scrub that shaft down. Now with the broadhead it may still be sharp so if you're cleaning that fat tallow and stuff like that off there make sure you're laying that edge and you're careful that you don't actually cut your fingers or nothing on there but just clean that stuff right off that broadhead too. Clean it right off that shaft. Now, the question that people have is, what do I do? Um, and yes, you can use the scrubby side if you got, if it was a gut shot or you got fat or tallow on there to take that off. But once you get to the feathers, just go with the grain of the feathers on there. Get them loaded up with that soap. Um, just you don't go backwards and scrubbing hard on them backwards yet. But just get that loaded up with that soap. Let that <clears throat> let that dawn dish soap. Get in there and soak into those feathers. That's what's going to do the work for you. Once that's in there and you got it in there real good, then you can use your fingers. Now you want the water hot, hot as you can get it, kind of tap water to use on it. But then you can take your fingers and just without trying to bend them backwards, just scrub the sides. As you can see here, you just scrub the sides of those feathers with your fingers. And if you look at that, look at that, feathers all cleaned off. First this one, take that, just scrub the sides with your fingers, try to not break them backwards, but just scrubbing them on the sides. Same with this one. Get that cleaned up a little bit like that. Scrub that a little bit on there. And then when you rinse this, you will end up with, again, using hot water, you have clean arrows like that that is set and ready. Now that arrow is back to clean. Now what will happen with those feathers is those feathers are like that right now. Well when this dries they will come back to life. If they don't come back exactly like you want you take right here, you take your kettle, put your kettle on the stove, get that steam coming out. I've done another video on this on, the, on my random hunting tips video shows you how to bring feathers back to life. But you let that steam hit them and twirl it over the steam and that will bring those back to full size. And then you have a perfectly good arrow that is ready to go kill something with again and do some hunting with. So no reason to throw them out, no reason to get rid of them because they're covered with blood and stuff like that. This is the way you can bring that arrow right back to life. Now this, like I said, in about an hour will dry perfectly. If I need to raise those up any higher. I hit them with a little bit of steam. Arrow's good to go. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. All right, bye.